Hey everybody, this is Joshua, the tendonitis expert. And in this video, we're going to talk about what is the real cause of carpal tunnel syndrome. It's kind of a trick title, because really what we're going to talk about is the real causes, plural, of carpal tunnel syndrome. That doesn't look incredibly great, but the point is, there's multiple causes of carpal tunnel syndrome. It's not just a single one. And that's kind of important for you if you're looking for a results-based treatment that's going to get you the results that you want. So quick review, this here is the carpal tunnel, right there basically. You have ligaments, which is connective tissue that holds basically a tunnel. You have tendon that comes through, you have nerve that comes through, and that connective tissue keeps all that held nicely in place. Slightly different view, same ligaments, nerve goes under there. So what causes carpal tunnel syndrome? What you've been told is that your job causes carpal tunnel syndrome, like too much typing or too much gripping and lifting or too much dexterity work or too much using your hands. Usually that's the cause, your sport, your activity, your hobby, your job, whatever. Like that is usually what gets the blame. And then maybe after that, they'll get to that there's compression at the carpal tunnel. The median nerve is getting stepped on or getting compressed by tightness at the carpal tunnel. That connect that ligament area right there, there's something happening where there's compression. That's what gets the blame. What they never really ask or explain or inquire into is why is there compression? That'd be a fun question to ask your doctor if he tells you there's compression. Like, well, why is there compression? They'll probably say something like your job, but you can imagine that's not the best answer in the world. So if it's not your job, if it's not the activity you're using your hands for, what actually causes carpal tunnel syndrome? And the answer to that is the tendonitis dynamic. And the tendonitis dynamic is made up of three main factors. First is muscle and connective tissue tightness. And the second is inflammation process. And the third is nutritional. That's not, let's redo that. Nutritional insufficiency. Thank you for your patience. So what causes carpal tunnel syndrome? It's muscle and connective tissue tightness. It's inflammation process and nutritional insufficiency. And it's important to know that all of these work together. So for instance, if you just got a really good massage and you felt better for a little bit, the other factors are gonna to work together to make the tightness happen again. Inflammation eats up nutrition. Tightness eats up nutrition. Inflammation makes things hurt and pain results in tightness. So all of these work together to cause problem. You might think that it's only at the wrist, that the tightness, the compression might only happen in the wrist, but it can also happen up at the elbow. It can also happen up at the neck and shoulder, basically. So basically, there's a few places in the arm where you can get compression, wrist, neck, elbow. So if your doctor is sure that it's happening only at the wrist, because that's what carpal tunnel syndrome is, right? It's compression at the wrist. Well, what if there's some compression happening at the neck? What if there's some compression happening at the elbow? What if it's all three? Then surgery at just one spot might not be the best idea in the world. And we'll talk about that in just a moment. But again, point being, the real cause of carpal tunnel syndrome is not your job or your hobby or your activity. It's these three factors all working together to cause tightness, to cause connective tissue to pull and compress, to have lack of nutrition so that those muscles stay tight and they don't relax, inflammation which makes things hurt, whether you feel it or not, your brain feels it and it tells things to tighten up. So it's just multi-factor dynamic that results in tightness, compression, ultimately pain and problem. And again, that can happen at the wrist, neck or elbow. So if you've spent some time with your doctor so far, maybe you've even had a surgery, 
and you're not fixed, you might be wondering why. Well, the first is because they ignore the causes. They don't look at tightness anywhere other than right here. And they never ask, why? Why is it tight right there? They generally don't even ask, is it tight anywhere else up the line? They know that the nerve goes all the way up. It makes sense that you can get compressed anywhere from neck to wrist. So why is it right here? If you're looking at surgery or any other treatment, it's important to ask these kind of questions like, why? Why is there compression right here? And is there really compression right here? Ultimately, your doctors failed to fix you because you ignored the three factors. Ignored the dynamic of tightness, inflammation, and nutritional insufficiency. Those are the factors that are the cause of the overall problem. It's great to do surgery at the wrist, and maybe you'll feel better for a little while when they cut that, but that causes some damage, and you still have the tightness, the inflammation, and nutritional insufficiency that caused the problem in the first place, that's all still there. Surgery ignores all that. So generally, your doctors failed to fix you because you just focused on the wrong things and ignored some very important things. So if you're looking for a fix, you can't ignore the cause. If you'd like to find out more about carpal tunnel syndrome, then visit my website, tendonitisexpert.com backslash carpal dash tunnel dash syndrome dot html. And don't forget the capitals. Oops, don't forget the capitals there. And as always, the fix is the carpal tunnel treatment that works. Everything you need to know, no fluff, no filler, just the steps that are required to reverse the tightness, reverse the inflammation, and reverse the nutritional insufficiency. And if 